Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now brought to you by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, upgrade your game today. Talk with our racket or shoe specialist. Cyber wars struck the tennis world this week. A group of Russian hackers who operate under the name Fancy Bears hacked the World Anti-Doping Agency database and posted drug records of Venus and Serena Williams and Olympic mixed doubles gold medal champion Bethany Maddox Sands from the Rio Olympic Games. The hacker group called the records licenses for doping. The World Anti-Doping Agency confirmed and condemned the cyber attacks. Many of the drugs listed to all three players are primarily anti-inflammatories and painkillers to treat muscle soreness. None of the documents posted provide documentation of any current drugs, and all drugs listed to the players were legally approved and used under WADA rules. Here's something important to note. Venus, Serena, and Bethany each had therapeutic use exemptions approved by the ITF and its doctor, Stuart Miller. A therapeutic use exemption permits a player to use a prohibited medication without committing any anti-doping rule violation, provided the player has a medical condition warranting the use of the drug. An example of this is a player who has asthma can get an exemption to take asthma medication, or a player who's had recent surgery can get an exemption for painkiller medication with a doctor's approval. Venus Williams issued a statement acknowledging the records had been hacked and released and pointed out that she held an exemption for her medication. Venus says she was disappointed to learn that her private medical data had been hacked. She said she follows the rules established under the tennis anti-doping program and she was granted her therapeutic use exemption. Venus says she's one of the strongest supporters of maintaining the highest level of integrity in the game and she has been very disciplined in following the guidelines. In its statement, WADA suggested the Kremlin could be behind the cyber attack as retaliation for the McLaren report, which claims that Russia ran a state-sponsored doping program from 2011 to 2015. Russian President Vladimir Putin denied those charges and told the Russian media drug records show a double standard when it comes to doping. If you want more on this story, check it out on the Tennis Now website. Wonder how top players unwind after the stress of a Grand Slam? Well, if you're Grigor Dimitrov, you take a romantic vacation to Italy with gorgeous pop star girlfriend Nicole Scherzinger. Grigor and Nicole sure shared the love packing on the PDA. The 25-year-old Dimitrov, who previously dated Maria Sharapova, is 12 years younger than the former Pussycat Doll singer. The couple has been dating since late last year, and in January, Nicole was on hand supporting her man in Brisbane. Okay, so Grand Slam season is over, but commercial season's in full swing. Here's a sneak peek at some new ads starring top players. Anna Ivanovic, who closed the curtain on her 2016 season, makes a return in Adidas's Find Focus campaign. The campaign urges athletes to align your mind and win again. Nick Kyrgios goes airborne for Yonix's E-Zone DR racket. World number one, Novak Djokovic unleashes major racket head speed in this ad for Heads Speed Racket with Graphene Touch. <laughs> Maria Sharapova took a spin visiting the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart for her sponsor. Rafa Nadal tells Rotterdam fans that he will play their hometown tournament in 2017. Yannick celebrated Angelique Kerber's U.S. Open Championship and rise to world number one with this video Q&A. Uh, I'm actually playing when I remember you, uh, Yannick, uh, since really long years right now. And uh, for me, the racket is just perfect. I have so much success with this racket. And Adidas gave us an illustrated Angie. What an event for Stan Wawrinka, who dethroned defending champion Novak Djokovic to win his first U.S. Open title and third major crown. The day after, Stan got schooled by Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon. In a match of We Tennis, Jimmy not only beat up on the new champion, he used Stan the man's signature move against him. Check it out. 
Here we go. Let's start Who's serving? You. I'm serving. Ready? Uh, yes! This is good. This is feeling real good. Why did I ever came this is here? So fun. <laughs> Why did I ever came here? I'm so, so stupid. I want the so open life. Stan told PBS host Charlie Rose that he doesn't believe he could be world number one, and here's why. Can you be number one? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, it's... Uh, I won three Grand Slam, but uh, I'm not uh, consistent enough uh, during the year. Uh, if you look, Novak uh, is, uh, is making f final or winning every tournament that he's playing. Uh, I can play amazing, I can win Grand Slam, but uh, I'm, I'm not playing well enough during the year. All right, that's the news for now. We'll wrap up the Davis Cup results coming up next time. I'm Grace Carter. Thanks for joining us here on Tennis Now.